Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here and welcome to another episode of Power Moves where today we're gonna talk about feature statistics. And this is really part four in our ongoing series of tools that you can use to help you understand and get the most out of your performance in SolidWorks. Today, we're gonna take a look at these two models, which both look very similar, but one of them was done with a feature pattern and one was done with a sketch pattern. We're gonna answer the question, which yields faster performance? Ow! So here we are in SolidWorks and we're looking at these two models. I'm gonna use control tab to tab between the two open windows. This window here is the version using the sketch pattern. So everything is all in one massive sketch and then it's cut extruded through all. And this one here is using the feature pattern option. So I create the main plate and the outer corners, the shell, and then I just create one single cut extrude with sharp corners. Then I add the fillets to those sharp corners and then I create a feature pattern of that sharp corner cut extrude along with the fillets. So the question is, which method is faster? And if I use the control Q shortcut to do a force rebuild, we can actually see that this one takes a long time to rebuild, where the one where everything is all in one sketch just kind of rebuilds, you know, almost immediately. And in both of these examples, we are using the system option here under performance for verification on rebuild. So verification on rebuild is enabled in both of these examples. And it seems like the version where everything's all in one sketch performs a little bit better, but is there a better way to track this than just pressing control Q and watching the little spinning wheel? Yes, there is. It's found here on the evaluate toolbar and in new versions of the software, it's called performance evaluation. In the old versions of the software, this was called feature statistics. And when you click on it, it gives you the statistics for each feature, including the rebuild time for each feature and including the overall total rebuild time for the entire model. So this version where all the holes are in one single sketch takes 0.66 seconds to rebuild. And if we go back to this version here and look at the feature statistics, we can see it takes three seconds 0.72, 3.72 seconds to rebuild. So this seems to prove it, right? Doing it as a feature pattern is slower, doing it as a massive sketch is faster, but it's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison. And the reason I say that is because in this case, we're creating a pattern of both the hole and the fillet as two separate features. So let's delete that fillet there off the corner of that original cut extrude. So I'm gonna delete that fillet and then I'm gonna edit that sketch of the hole and I'm gonna create the fillet here in the sketch itself. 0 0.125 uh, radius here on these four corners and let's exit that sketch and create a pattern from that one single sketch of the rectangle with the fillets in the corners. So now we do a control Q and ooh, that seemed to rebuild a little faster. And now we look at our performance evaluation and we see that the total rebuild time has been cut down to 0 0.17 seconds. Pretty darn impressive. And if we look back at the version where everything is all in one massive sketch, we look at performance evaluation, we can see that that's still at 0 0.66 seconds. And there's other things that we can do also to kind of test this idea of which is faster. Like, is it faster if we do this pattern as a standard pattern, or is it faster if we do this pattern as a geometry pattern? So we check geometry pattern on, we do a control Q, we look at performance evaluation. Wow, that dropped it from 0 0.17 seconds down to 0 0.11 seconds. Kind of interesting. So there's lots of cool little which is faster, which is faster type of evaluations we can do when we utilize this performance evaluation tool. Now, one last place that I like to use the performance evaluation tool, and this is probably a little bit more how it was intended to be used, is when I've got a model that's got a long rebuild time, like if I do a control Q here, it takes a little while for this entire model to rebuild. What I like to do is go into performance evaluation to figure out which feature or features 
are really taking the longest to rebuild. And it's kind of interesting that this feature here, this hanger main fillet, which is all the way down at the bottom of the tree, is really the feature that's taking the longest to rebuild. I would have thought that it would have been some of the surfacing work that I did earlier in the tree, but it turns out it's just this kind of complicated fillet that I've got here close to the end of the feature tree. So if I suppress that fillet, I'm gonna be able to work on this model and get much faster rebuild times. And then when I'm ready to release this model, I can unsuppress that fillet take that one single long rebuild time and then kind of move on with my day. So what did you think about that video? Did you learn anything new about SolidWorks? If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.